I just pulled up three hours of Miles Jack film and I was impressed by every single bit of it. See, I don't know why people don't think he's the same dude when he was dominating in 2017 when the Jags were making a playoff push, but he's the same dude that he was in 2017. I mean, he's fast, explosive, can fly sideline to sideline, takes on contact very well. I mean, the only thing that I can really think of is maybe he got a different haircut, but that's about it. See, Miles Jack is just such a smart player and it shows on film. Like I said, I just watched so much of his film to the point where it's like you could see that that he just understands the game better than everybody else and he's instantly gonna come in and have a field day with Brian Flores and I can't wait to watch it and of course you pair that up with the fact that you already have one of the best D lines in the league TJ Watt, Stefan Tui, Cam Hayward, Tyson Alu Alu, Alex Highsmith and now suddenly that creates a lot more opportunity for a guy like Miles Jack, who should have been in the Pro Bowl, but of course he played for the Jags, and the Pro Bowl is a popularity contest, and it's not based on who watches film. So yeah, Miles Jack is definitely going to fill a huge hole on our defense. Of course, we were held back by Devin Bush. This defense could have been elite, but that, that middle linebacker spot was a huge gap for us. And that's no shot at Devin Bush or anything like that. It's just true. But if we're being honest, the main reason why our defense wasn't elite was because the injuries, not Devin Bush, even though Devin Bush really didn't help that much. Now, he still has a lot of holes that he needs to fill in his game. But with Miles Jack and Brian Flores, it's going to be pretty hard for a young guy not to pick himself up with those two pieces of course miles jack is going to be helping you on the field and brian flores is going to be coaching you up and brian flores should be a head coach somewhere else right now but of course i'm not going to get into all of that but back to the point miles jack absolute stud to the point where you can even say we're comfortable with the inside linebacker position we can be more lenient with what we draft now we can go take a wide receiver maybe first round maybe a corner who knows but I think that if we get Chad Muma or Darian Beavers, that can make us even more dangerous on defense. So watch out because we still have the draft. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video and that's it for me on this one. Peace.